So good to be back home. What's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech. And in this box, we got a few things. Now, no, it's not an iServer. No, it's not a KS0 or a KS0 Pro or anything like that. It was just used because Crypto Macau made it easier himself by transporting his KS0 Pro that he won from the iServer giveaway at Mind Disrupt 2024 in a suitcase. I wonder what TSA or the Czech people said, but in here is all the stuff that I got from my Disrupt. And what I want to sh talk about is ooh, these guys. I'm going to get this set back up. I showed you that you can mine from anywhere, in any place, even an Airbnb. Because it's so simple to use and you don't need much. Really, all you need is a Type-C power charger. And that is the Avalon Nano. Now, I would love to do a teardown on this. But we're not going to do one quite yet. The Avalon Nano does get powered by a Type-C charger. And you can see here on the side what the requirements are. So input is 28 volts DC 5 amps. So if you could do 5 amps, you should be able... To rock and roll but 140 watts max is the max power consumption so i wonder what the the uh brick you know is going to do if you don't have an actual power adapter which is what was provided with the nano if i could get it out so this thing is not very big it can fit in most shelves right next to your alcohol um <laughs> and you just need the power brick that comes with it. 140 watts USB-C charger. There's your inputs, AC 110 to 240, 50 to 60 hertz, 1.8 amps. Um, output ranging anywhere from 5 volt all the way to 28 volt, 5 amps, 140 watts. So it's different, different power settings, and this brick can handle it. Um, different serial number than what came with the device but I don't think it really matters and it is your old school what I would say PS2 uh, power connector and then you plug the type C port into the back here and that's it that's really it also uh, Crypto McKell told me that Red Panda found that taking off this front grill, which is actually magnetic, but very strong magnet, would help improve thermals. And we could see just a little bit in there, like a daughter board. I would probably want to do a teardown on this. We'll have to check that out maybe in the future. I think those screws are just for the light bar that's up here at the top. But we could see a little bit of components. That looks like a thermal sensor right there, that little black dot that we're looking at right there. Um, then the main board with a few heat sinks to keep things nice and cool. And uh, the bottom brain, scan your QR code to check your BTC. Scan QR code to check your BTC. Uh, because it's mined to brains automatically. You could change the server to whatever you want, but yeah. Uh, backside, I don't think the back plate is removable I don't think so I could be wrong actually there it is might need to pop it out it's not magnetic is what I should say and to tear this thing down I'm not entirely sure but I bet you maybe something's hidden underneath his feet maybe maybe we'll do that in a different video but really cool you can set this up anywhere probably gonna set it up on the old SC uh, light box over there and just get this thing powered up and connected to a pool but you can mine anywhere in the world as long as you have power to do so and we had power at the airbnb and it's very awesome to actually win something from canon what's funny is is i wasn't expecting to win this the uh, hat was thrown towards a crowd uh, as if a bouquet at the wedding, which I did go to one of my friend's weddings on the way home. And somehow it went from the right side of the group all the way to me. Um, so I'm very lucky on that one. But I always love small miners like this. And I can see a few screws back there. Is that a bus bar? 
are we just connecting daughter board to daughter board so one at the top there one at the bottom and you can see these connectors right here connecting to this board interesting and then those screws kind of like going through maybe connecting to the heat sink and now I really want to do a teardown of this anyway stay tuned for updates on that but very easy to set up anywhere in the world and let me show you the app before we get out of here so right now it's saying it's about it's doing around 3.9 terahash but obviously it's not because it's not connected to any Wi-Fi and uh, the app for this thing it's called remote but I have to just leave a link for you in the description um, because it was a little bit hard to find otherwise you scan the QR code that comes in the booklet for it so let me show what that looks like Android app or Apple Store whichever you like this is what the app looks like right here Avalon remote search that in your favorite store whichever one you have and then you can see that if I tap on the one the, the nano that's already here we can't connect to it so we're gonna have to hit plus search devices it's gonna look locally and try to connect Avalon device not scan to see if we can't find it if we get a little bit closer still not sound all right so we might have to reset the device but if we were to scan it and detect it we would select it and be able to manage it accordingly let's try to remove all right and now scan again come on nope all right so let's power off the device and restart it get a little help here it says try to press the button on the device until it shows the IP address and type down the IP address below we are provided with the IP address default is 192.168.168.168 and we should be able to connect to it then even if we couldn't connect to it manually and then we can tell it which Wi-Fi to use and so on and so forth I'm having a little bit of trouble here with this reopen the app now after we reboot the device try to see if we can search for it hitting the plus icon in the upper right hopefully you can find it there it is connect connect again and then we can uh, select our Wi-Fi and enter in the password, save it uh, according to however you have your Wi-Fi set up. It then says getting IP and then add it successfully. We can now tap on the device and manage the heater control. Uh, also, you can edit its location wherever you want it. I'm gonna put this one as a mining room, which is technically my, um, my dining room. Um, you can't see it and when we're in dark mode by the way as you just saw but we got low medium high heater modes we can control the lighting with the power button we can either stay flash breathing loop we could adjust the brightness in case it gets too bright or too much whichever you prefer color and palette right you can do color temperature um, or you could do palette where you could choose any one of those colors and then mining management is where we could choose our pool now again in dark mode you can't see it but I have mine set on CK pool and that's pretty much it now you can uh, you should be able to see your device uh, saved or connected to your favorite pool whatever it might be and should be good to go and you could always come back to the app to manage it however you see fit or add multiple devices and the settings section is just dark mode or light mode, English or Chinese, by or the about section version 0.13. And it's just that easy. Now we're sitting here on the low mode, I'm doing about 1.81 terahash. Probably gonna put it on medium. See the IP that it was assigned by my network, DHCP. And this thing is good to go. So that's pretty much it. Very easy to set up, very easy to use. Uh, I would suggest this device for 
newbies, uh, you know, children, uh, sons, daughters, nephews, nieces, just to get them started in mining. And if you need a little heat during those colder months, or if you live in colder uh, climates, uh, that you know you can help heat up their room, heat up their little feces. Uh, that was definitely something I was doing when I was at that cold Airbnb. Anyways, thank you to Canon for allowing me the opportunity to get uh, to win this device, and thank you to all of you who help support the channel. So do me a favor on the way out, hit the like button, make sure to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out additional links in the description, um, like the link to uh, get the Avalon Remote app. Uh, and much more and you all have yourself a wonderful day. I'll take I'll talk to you later on. Take care.